Before we dive into the video, I want to give you a quick heads up. This video is sponsored proudly by Jensen USA. They're a big supporter of mine and anything you purchase at those links in the YouTube description below will directly support my channel. I'm supported by Ibis Cycles, PNW Components, Industry 9, Cali Protectives, Kitsbo Cycling Apparel, and Shimano. Seth from Jensen and I just released another podcast that is very relevant to this video. It's all about hardtails and single speeds. I've got that link down below. You can listen to it on all your favorite podcast platforms. The podcast has been growing a ton. We're one of the biggest mountain bike podcasts now. Thanks for all your support. We appreciate it. The stylus here is turning into one of my favorite bikes, but the single speed setup's got to get moved over to a more cross country oriented bike. The way the steep seat tube angle works out, the saddle just keeps catching me in the behind on steep climbs when I've got to stand up and start wrenching on it. Also, around here the trails are steep enough up and down that a low enough gear ratio to go up is way too low for the descent. Hopefully on my sketchy old 26 inch wheeled hardtail, that's not an issue because I can't go that fast on the downhills. I saw my life flash before my eyes. It almost feels like a little bit of a disservice to how rad this bike is to set it up single speed for riding around here. So let's make it a little bit more dialed in for Northwest riding, steep ups, steep downs. Let's put some gears on here. Big thanks to a longtime sponsor of mine, Shimano, for supplying some XT kits for the year. So I'm going to put an XT 12 speed drivetrain on this. I'm running Industry 9 Hydra hubs on the stylus. And right now I've got a Shimano Hyperglide 11 speed style free hub on there for the single speed. Luckily, I've got a spare micro spline free hub that I took off my Ritmo. So I can fit that right onto the same wheel set. Should be a quick, easy swap out. Get the 12 speed on here. Bye bye, single speed chain. Okay, and then I need a five mil. I need a six mil. Pull off this nice little single speed adapter. Okay, and that's ready for a derailleur. XT derailleur should work good. The working man's choice. Did a very silly XTR versus SLX versus XT video a while back. You guys should watch it. I don't do comedy, but I tried. Why are you gonna be so serious all the time? Cool. Let's swap those free hub bodies. Hopefully it's as easy as I think it's gonna be. So right here, the Hydra with the Hyperglide. Came right off. So the camera focus is really good, but it goes for faces, not for random bike parts. Pop the axle end cap off. I'll see if we can get the free hub off. Oh, super easy. And then the micro spline. Oh, there's so many little engagement teeth in there. Easy peasy. End cap dialed. So I swapped the front chain ring down to a 32 tooth. Normally I run a 34 on the 27.5 bikes, but I'm too excited to go ride. So I'm just gonna leave that chain ring on there. And if I need to change it one day, I will. Ah, cool. There we go. It's a 10 to 51 tooth, massive ratio. This is gonna be a sick setup. Y'all are probably wondering why I have a fender on here. This is Washington State. We had 40 straight days of rain this winter. It's really wet out. This fender might look a little strange. It works really well. We need a chain, a shifter, run the housing, and we're done. Got my 12-speed XT Grupo on here. It feels good. Let's get this thing on the trail. Another day, another Galbraith ride. Logan is Riding his red Cannondale hardtail. That's all we know about it. It's fast. You can tell because of the fender. And it's red. All the schools just got closed a few minutes ago due to the Corona virus pandemic. Hopefully the mountain bike trails don't get shut down too. Hopefully that angle works. Oh my gosh. Just stop pedaling and you'll manual. Yeah. You manual for a second. No, I can do it while sitting. Are you recording? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> no margin for error on this bike. This battery got some pickle juice in it. It says 42%. I don't know if I buy it. We may be trading batteries in a minute. Okay. I think we'll stop on the straightaway after the jump over the, the log. 
And I'm not, it's, I'll stop when you stop. I don't know where that is. All right. I've not ridden this enough to know. The Mohawk. This is where we stop. Oh, I lost you. I came. Oh no! I kind of like that long jump. Yeah, that's sweet. The beginning. I can't gap these. Got out of control. You good? Yeah. Wow, that was scary. Yeah. Got real out of control. Well, I think your front wheel caught that rat. Yeah. One rock, I don't know. And on the manual line, my tire was folding over and I couldn't keep it under control. Huh. Two six tires, not a good choice for aggressive jumps. Did I get my face at all? Um, like dirty or hit it? Like cut. No, it looks like you got a red mark like here. Yeah. It's not cut. Oh my gosh, I'm tired of crashing. I said I would chill out as I got older. That was not chilling out. <laughs> I just, the, the top part of this happy hour is almost like what, I don't know what we'll film. Oh, that sweet freaking rolling. That rock roll? Yeah. Boring. Dude, at one point on Mohawk, I was nosing into a jump and my butt caught the fender. Wow. And it felt a lot better than hitting a tire. Yeah. GoPro needs to do a highlight reel of all the shots they've missed. I bet it would be incredible. Yeah. I don't know how many cameras it would sell though. Oh, oh my chain. Did they do it again? What happened? My chain fell off. I rewrote that entire thing, no problems. And then. Yeah, trying it out for a day or two. Sweet. It's a little dicey. Yeah. Crashed pretty good once. 
57% battery. I swear this thing's haunted. I have a wide selection of haunted audio video gear. <laughs> you do too. Oh my, I have the old Ronin and it's, it's always just works perfectly all the time. I should sell mine, asterisk, potentially haunted. <sighs> Oh, chain. Oh no! It fell off really soon, really early on. If you kick it, does the chain not fall off as much? Yeah, that's how it works. Cool. One of my favorites up here. Andy, how are you doing? Not bad, how about yourself? I'm all right. Crashed really hard on Mohawk a second ago. Oh, damn. <laughs> Trying to do a manual, tire folds over and just whoo, bam into the wall. I can't wait to get back after that big one and the new line at the end there. That looks sweet, nice work, man. Well, thanks. I mean, it was mainly a Spencer on machine. I just did a little slap slap here or there, but. Wall slap slap <laughs> till the cows come home. That looks good. Oh, thanks, man. That's cool. Mind if we cruise on? Oh, no, you can't do that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your work. Right. Have a good night, man. Yeah, enjoy. Thanks. See ya. <laughs> Later. Oh. Oh, I'm not jumping into that. <laughs> Sorry if I'm screwing you up. Look at that bike. That thing is sweet. It's pretty fun. This is a sick bike and going to the gears really opened up what its potential can be. Single speed setup has its place in life, but uh, not on this bike. This bike's purpose built for shredding. Single speed is rad, but it requires kind of a different geometry. I'm really enjoying the XT 12 speed Grupo on here with the pinner little 32 tooth chain ring. It's a fun setup, that's cool. I'm trying not to yell, Siri. <sighs> in the next episode with the Cro-Mag in the vlog series, we're gonna take it to some really cool, really pretty natural trails and see how she handles. Gonna get Logan involved because he's always fun to ride and film with. And if you like this video, remember Jensen USA made it possible. I've got that link down below in that box, the YouTube description box. 
Hit that link, check out what Jensen has in stock. They have these chrome egg frames and they're a big supporter of mine. So anything you purchase from Jensen will help out the channel. And if you like fun mountain bike content that involves hardtails, hit the subscribe button. If you don't like hardtails, hit the subscribe button because I'll do other videos too. It's been fun hanging out, talking bikes, riding bikes, not crashing too much. And I'll see you guys around.